Okay, dear friends, we will play around with uh, watercolor pencil and uh, we will do an apple. How about that? First, you draw the outline of the pen, the apple, the outline. So it's and then putting color on the outside because later on you will anyway uh, put in water so it does not have to be so accurate. So roughly the shape is like this and then we will do the fine tuning. Stem right here, right now, uh, almost black color. It's actually black and brown color together. It's a mixed up. So we will use. See. Sorry, please excuse my not so sharp skills in this. This is new for me. It's pretty. want to wash some highlight here, highlight here and there, and there light, and we want some other place darker, then we put some more colors here. This is just a watercolor, although it's watercolor pencil, it's anyway, the pigment.
side should be dark. This side should be dark. Do not do it too strong. It will, it will damage the paper. I think I will do up to here. This is the highlight. Apple has some lines. Okay. Make it. Brush seems never make it right. How about we give up? as much as I can make. Do 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 Listen to me. We will do a flower. What kind of flower? Just random, any Sorry. So boring, I can only do flowers. Does not have to be perfect. It's not, does not have to be perfect. It's just I do not have the ability to make it perfect. So, leave with it, right? Deal with it. Do not have the ability, you better learn to do, learn to deal with what you cannot do. Not perfect, but nothing wrong if we are not perfect. Here is another flower. This one I will use. Purple color. Here's the scent. Let these two flowers connect. Does not have to be perfect, especially when you do not have the ability to be perfect. Leave with it. Here. 
Anyway, when you wash it, it will be all gone. So why do we put so much effort? And at the outside, we want to put some very light, put some blue color. And what do we do with this? We put water. We put water at the edge of the flower. Do not touch it. I just learned it from watching YouTube video. A lady has done this. I thought it's quite smart. Especially when you do not have the skill, so better learn from other people, right? From outside, put a lot of water, it's totally inundated with water. You may want to use a larger brush. Right. And it's better to wait until it is totally dried. So this uh, the outside. You want to create some not so pure white background, right? Okay, now we walk on the inside, relatively not so. You can always, oh, oh, it goes away. So that's the problem when you walk too, too much in a rush. Wait until it is dry. Not wait until it get dry, so it's not so. I'm not following the call of nature. Nature will not follow my idea. Just see, come sa. A bit water to wash it to this, so you can. See the brush direction. Voila. Okay, the center. Let them go beyond a little bit. Now we work on this part. Okay, if it is not perfect, right? We are human. It's not fun to make it too perfect. On top of that, you just do not have the skill to make it perfect, right? So. Water to wash in. Too much water. Not good. Not good. Too much water is equally. Now we use let the mud into it. 
this is as much as I can do it's quite Let it be the way it wants to. Dun, dun. There's no layer, no light. I don't like it. I do not like it. I do not like it. I do not like it. So I do not like it. Anyway. 